Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Wednesday the 8th of November. Starting off with the FTSE and uh, here you can see that we're really uh, rather becalmed in a range between say 7300 and 7490 um, in the middle of that and so not really much to glean. I uh, want to see this market basically get its RSI back above the neutral 50 level, it's 45 at the moment and obviously break 7490 which would be the uh, hopeful trigger for a move towards the top of that falling trend channel from February around 76.80. That could still be achieved by the end of this month if we get our act together and if this is indeed a mini inverted head and shoulders pattern that we've had on the daily chart since the end of last month. Only back below 7300 on an end of day close basis uh, suggests that we're uh, going down towards uh, testing the floor of that uh, February channel currently pointing as low as 71.40. Moving on to the DAX uh, which had its fireworks to start the month but uh, has perhaps gone into a more consolidating mode. Uh, here we've got support still above the 15,000 level. Above that we're looking for 15,500. Below 15,000 perhaps uh, heading back down towards the floor, the old floor of that May uh, falling trend channel at 14,800. But uh, rather quiet there on the DAX as well. Moving on to the Dow and uh, here you can see that um, we're still toying with that line of resistance there from Back in August, that's around 34,200. Want to see an end of day close above that. That's also neckline resistance uh, from back in October with this W shape, w -shape reversal. Double uh, gap up, unfilled gaps up. So that is a very strong uh, pattern and uh, does suggest that we should expect 35,000 as soon as the end of this month or even sooner. No such problems with uh, Bitcoin where you can see that uh, we're in a uh, flag formation in fact uh, we've already in, in, a, in a way broken out of that triangle that we had at the end of last month that was around 34,800 above that we're expecting progress towards a resistance line projection from this time last year as high as 43,000 and that could happen perhaps as soon as the end of this month sort of rising flag formation which uh, normally is a good thing obviously it could be a, a bull trap but um, we've had a double top there at 36,000 so maybe cautious traders would want to see that broken before assuming 43,000 is on its way. On the downside, not looking for anything worse than 32,100, which was with the old July support resistance rather for this market. Moving on to the stocks and the cupboard uh, relatively bare, uh, as you would expect from the way the puts is behaving at the moment. But uh, Artemis looking good in the sense that we've had um, a double unfilled gaps to the upside, uh, bear trap gap reversal for October and a further. Uh, gap to start November so looking very encouraging indeed above the 1.2 pence uh, gap floor area looking for up to uh, 2.3 pence and that could happen perhaps even as soon as the end of this month maybe repeating that kind of move that we saw back in August. On to alien metals which I haven't looked at for ages and uh, it's uh, slowly bubbling up now we've broken a neckline resistance in the top of, uh, rather the bottom of that gap there from back in August at uh, point to one pence above to point two one we're looking for point three two which is the top of that rising trend channel i've drawn from back in august that would also bring us pretty close to the 200 day line currently falling at point three four but uh, the upside here looking good in terms of recovery with a rising uh, 50 day line um, we had a sideways shuffle above that uh, just around the turn of the month and so looks pretty well set there for alien metals to deliver a recovery Next up is uh, Arc Minerals, where there always seems to be intense speculation regarding the stock. And uh, we've actually gapped up today, which is pretty impressive. We managed to uh, hit our previous target there around four pence. We've done that twice, once this month and once last month. And above four pence on the floor of that gap, looking for five pence as soon as the end of uh, this month. And the way things are going, maybe even by the end of this week. So finally, looks like the shares are taking off there while they're above for pence. The stock which I don't think I've looked at for years is coming up next, Calnex uh, Solutions. Looks like we may have a rising trend channel base, exactly where the top of the channel there is a bit of a moot point, but it looks like it's about 80 pence and uh, we're looking for that while we're above 52 pence on the floor of the channel there from last month. The key here I suppose is holding above the uh, neckline resistance around the uh, 52 pence level, although that is quite a big uh, uh, stop loss if you are close to the market. Going on to uh, Cleantech, which was making uh, decent noises today with its RNS. 
what will be interesting here is whether the shares can hold yesterday's support zone around 26 pence. There's a rather obscure support line projection there from the end of last year, back in December. And above that, one would look for a, a rally back up towards the uh, mid-2023 support area, around 35 pence, even if the shares fall back again after that. On to Destiny Pharma, where it's another win for the technicals in the sense that we've uh, hit and exceeded our previous target at uh, 70 pence. Above 70 pence, we're going for um, a target as high as a pound by the end of next month, i.e. by the end of the year, uh, in a situation which looks like it's finally broken out properly for good above the uh, mid-60s, i.e. above last month's, last month's resistance area. Uh, Deltic looks like it might be back as well, and uh, the reason for that is that uh, we've broken a trend line there from back in July. That was broken around 22 pence. Above that, we're looking for at least 28 pence, which is a the top of a post-September triangle for this stock. A bear trap from below the uh, old October support there at 22 pence looks to be the trigger for at least a little run to the upside. One of the best RNSs of the day uh, came in the form of uh, E-Energy and uh, stake building by Lusco. Here you can see a bear trap gap reversal. So we uh, bear trap below the July support there, three and three quarter pence and a massive gap higher today. The view now is that uh, while we're above the 50 day moving average at 4.9 pence, we could see the shares head up to at least eight and a half pence, maybe as soon as the end of this month. But uh, obviously quite a spiky situation. So uh, maybe one has to be prepared for a bit of volatility there don't often look at galantis but as i said the cupboard is rather bare today so we're having a look at that here's a trend line break and bullish divergence uh, from back in june uh, the break of the line there around uh, 11 three quarter pence above that we're looking for the shares to uh, head to the bottom of the august gap around 17 pence maybe by the end of this month although i have to admit that's a bit of a punchy call in current rather dull markets MySelts is next, and uh, here you can see we've got uh, classic rising trend channel. It's a shame that we don't all trade these sorts of formations, but uh, here we had an end of day close above a sharply rising 50 day moving average yesterday at 58 pence, above that 50 day line looking for 90 pence as soon as the end of next month. Maybe we'll get a repeat of the spike that we saw back in September. On to uh, uh, plexus and uh, here we're just uh, hitting that line of resistance from back in august that's around the uh, 22 pence level I want to see an end of day close above 22 pence to give us a potential move to 30 pence plus over the next four to six weeks that sharply rising 50 day line should pro provide support there at the 18 pence level on any retracement uh, rocky ride for the next stock which is uh, quantum blockchain here we had uh, the sharp pullback from the uh, October peak uh, through 3.6 pence. Uh, current situation is that we found uh, appear to have found support at an old resistance line there from back in January, around 1.9 pence. Above that, still the door open, hopefully, for a retest of 3 pence plus over the next four to six weeks. But uh, that one, quite a sharp mover, so beware. On to the last two. First one is... Uh, Rainbow Rare S, which also had a great RNS today. Here the shares have uh, gapped up on that uh, stake building or that investment into the company. Here you can see we've got a rising trend channel from back in January, the top of the channel there at 19 and a half pence. And uh, we're looking for that as soon as the end of this month and hopefully at least by the end of next month after the bear trap gap reversal from below the uh, October support there at 14 pence. The longer we spend above 14 pence the better it is for that situation. Finishing off with sheer water, and uh, here you can see a trend line break. Don't normally use ten trend line breaks as uh, signals because obviously they are rather subjective, but uh, at least breaking that line at 36 pence could take the shares back up to 50 pence, maybe by the end of this month. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.